All right, guys, what's up? We are back for another ESPN MIC Highlight Edition. Just wanted to play the recap of the week, see what happened. Unfortunately, Alex took a little bit of a hit this week, but we're actually going to talk about it and learn some lessons along the way. So, as always, guys, just really quick, I think it's very important that if you get any value out of this video today, this kind of, you know, webinar, this recap, I want you to text 213-458-5997 for some free coaching. You can book a call. Obviously, look forward in look just deeper and closer into our community by getting on the phone with me. But again, you know, if you have immediate questions, just text my line and we can take a deep dive. But let's cruise in, guys. So, okay, so Monday was obviously off this week, so we had a long weekend. Uh, and Alex made $7,000, came in with a banger and a swinger on Tuesday, so the first trading day of the week, and here's what he did. So 7K, a little bit of a tougher trading day, but had a nice pre-market trade on ARBE, which I have pulled up, on the bounce towards 670s. Covered right at the open near dead lows and reshorted a bit too early. Not the way I wanted to start the week, but managed the trade still well. Still trying to cure the FOMO from the weekend off and the long weekend. New day tomorrow. Here's what happens, guys. Every now and then you're going to make money like Alex made right here, you know, 7K. And you're going to feel like you underperformed. You know, a lot of people would think that th this was greedy. But a lot of people don't realize that if you're at Alex's level and you've been trading for literally, guys, ten near 10 years of a decade, he's the LeBron James of trading, guys. So you have to understand, Alex knows his reputation. He knows his skill set. He knows his abilities. And if Alex said he un underperformed and still made 7K, he very much did. You know, this is this is just like... You know, LeBron James, man, just not scoring what he should for his potential. So again, you know, Alex will tell you, you know, we're coming off a long weekend and that makes trading a lot harder sometimes, guys. It really does. But let's cruise in. So this is what Alex said. ARBE on the watch list stock is a little weird. Why? If you look at the daily chart on 216, 217, I'll just sum it up here. It had two up days on low volume, then a big move. This makes me think some, someone knew the news ahead of time, which is usually always the case with small caps, guys. There's agendas everywhere that we don't know or we don't see, and then you see them later. Oftentimes what happens is they accumulate the stock before the news comes out, and then they sell the news. Um, they sell after the news hits, and liquidity enters the stock. So this is looking like a potential short uh, to me on a bounce. More commentary at the open as the chart forms, but we'll be monitoring this. Most of the volume traded is above 660 support, so this tells me under 660, the stock becomes broken. So if we go to the chart, obviously this is what Alex wanted. You know, he covered the flush in the open, which I'll bring that up. Broken. So let's see what happens here, but using the clues I see from the chart to determine my thesis. Then if we look at Alex's chart, exactly what he said for pre-market, covered in the literally, guys, the opening candle, the morning wash, and got the trade that he wanted. So just very clear cut, very streamlined, um, awesome job. And then CMMB, at the time of writing, guys, I'll pull it up for you. Um, obviously, Alex was saying it was, the, you know, potential hot chick of the day. I think I gave a webinar in this week, so let me just erase these lines. Uh, for a low hanger but if we go to the 21st which was tuesday when alex is writing something guys right here it could be a hot chick but by the time open comes around you guys can see that the you know the volume drops off the you know the the highs drop off and so what do you get as soon as you know the stock market opens you have a lot of overhead you want this push into vwap we call this the million dollar setup because if there's one setup guys that you should literally be focusing on every day i'm not even kidding you as a new short seller and you're just trying to build an account it's essentially this one you know it's a stock that's up a decent amount it's proven that it's just not ready to keep those gains a lot of people are underwater on the long side and here's what happens you know it's such a beautiful thing when a stock has not touched vwap for an hour before the open and it's opening way under vwap so here's a here's some free game for you guys i'm telling you man even if you're not a part of mic like i can make you profitable with our free content let alone what you will get as a member guys and seeing how to execute that on this daily combine that with you know time-based trading but guys the the vwap is the outer line when something hasn't hit vwap for a long time a half an hour to at least an hour and the more time the better before open and it's opening way under vwap guys where do you think the resistance is going to be vwap is going to act as a massive resistance so vwap to the next hour line if it keeps going and that's how you scale the morning and you get out on a flush exactly like alex did and guys that's how you supplement and build your income. Now, this perfect setup doesn't show up every day, but when it shows up, guys, it's a it's a banger of a setup. It works way more times than it doesn't. 
So let's take a look at what the members are doing on Tuesday. Uh, let me try to zoom in as much as I can for you. Uh, Marvin D, Marvin D77, I love this. It didn't hit my stop uh, outline, so he scaled it correctly. Turned out to be a nice trade on EBIO in the morning. Covered the flush. Amazing job on outer lines. Um, Jan trading ARBE. And uh, just doing a really good job, the IBIO and MOB, just awesome process, man. I love this. Outer lines. I'll, I think there's a long right here, freaking awesome. And then time-based trading right here on this last one, guys, is what you notice is that's the setup, time-based trading before zombie hour and you get squeezed, like cut it off. I love that. Um, Ryan Conley doing a wonderful ARBE long, guys. Just because maybe Alex wants to short or another trader wants to short does not mean we don't have long traders. So again, guys, like take advantage of the opportunity based on the edge and the criteria that's presented. So while Alex was covering out, freaking Ryan Conley was like, I'm gonna squeeze these, you know, amateur short sellers in the morning once Alex is out. You know, veteran short, Alex takes his money and then let's squeeze all these bastards who piled in the lows it's just the way it is um hooper x guys wonderful job again again cmmb the million dollar setup guys stock way under view up pops to view up that's where you want to be i wish hooper had some fantasies right here i would just say that that's a lot better of a trade but he did great he did great but Guys, you should have fantasies. When, when something is this perfectly set up, have fantasies. Just here, 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 here. And then when they all hit, you're just going to streamline such a good average. But always have risk management. You always want it the next high. Um, I have a sensitive mouse, so bear with me. Um, always. So if I'm scaling up to this point, I want the next resistance line or the next top. Obviously, be that. So VWAP upwards of about right there, guys. Fantasy, 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 fantasy. If this hits both, which it usually doesn't, usually just kind of cream, you know, careens off and drives off the cliff at VWAP, you still have some starters on. You still have some, you know, good orders in. But man, if all these catch and you get two resistance lines, boom. By the time that drops, it's it's just phenomenal. Um, Fabian, Fabian Z, A R B E, short red to green. Love it, guys. Great freaking job. The members are crushing it. Using the watch list, guys. Using the watch list every single day. Now, Alex has a trade called Hoth, which is actually not on the watch list, guys. That kind of just sprung up, so I'll just kind of put it right here. But um, let me pull this up as he had a just a micro scalp on it, like 700 bucks. Um, but let's bring it up. It's definitely an example of what he traded that day. It was just kind of a just kind of a nothing day, but it's still worth pulling up. Uh, let's see, 20 second. That's right here. And uh, yeah, guys, as you can see, you know, Alex waits for, you know, essentially this squeeze to happen. And then once it kind of, you know, tops out, he gets that, he gets that scalp real quick. Um, always using VWAP as a guide. And then he's out before he gets into too much trouble. It's just, again, you got to have sniper entries, guys. And that's what Alex is always focusing on. Now let's take a look at what the members were doing as I think they're a little bit more active. Hooper X, DKNG, I just love this, man. The failed push, join, and cover. I just love that. When sentiment is there, follow the sentiment, guys. You, It's very clear to find. It's very clear edge. You know, continuation plays and or big runners. Like, follow the edge. Follow the sentiment. Follow the trend. Uh, exactly what George did right here. Just starters. Um, no level, so no size. But but following it down. Following the continue. I love that, man. That's so clean. That is so clean right there. It's just really nice. It's really freaking clean. Um, you should get to a point, guys, in your trading that you really like. I, I'll just tell you a quick story. I, any trader can relate to this, but I'll, like in the beginning, I just remember arrows, arrows, arrows. Like it was just arrows everywhere in price action. This is what clean trading looks like. Your trade, all your trades should eventually look like this. And they don't all have to look the same. You're not just going to top take everything like Hooper X did on AI right here at the 2280 fail. Just beautiful. But you guys see how clean trading this is? Hopefully your charts are just, they, like, more often than not, 90%. Even if you lose, guys, like, it doesn't matter if you lose or not. I'm talking about clean. You have a plan. You obviously follow that plan. You road trend down. You hit an outer line. And, hey. If you needed to stop out, you stopped out. But even that can be clean. You just don't want to be like a freaking bipolar idiot in price action. And you're stopping out, you're getting back in, you're stopping out, you're getting back in. You're and I know a lot of you are going to resonate with that because fuck, man, that was me. That was Alex. That was Bao. Um, sometimes it's still Bao. <laughs> but you guys get the idea. We've all been there. Um, what more to say about soy sauce? He, This kid's the kid guy I actually don't even know. He might be 90 years old, might be freaking 17. But soy sauce is absolutely freaking crushing lately i'm assuming a little older than 17 as his rebates from success trader monthly pay his mortgage so i'm thinking at least probably 28 uh k lewis if 700 guys is a blah day then awesome 
So he was at 1.7K and unrealized, of course. You know, you guys got to realize that. You got to lock it in. But you know what, man? That is so much better than bar backing, bro. <laughs> it's all perspective, isn't it? So, guys, let's uh, let's go into Thursday. Let's take a look. This was, unfortunately, the only the last day that Alex traded this week, guys. So he literally only traded Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And, unfortunately, it was a bit of a paper cut. A lot of you may look at this and go, oh, my God, Alex. Poor Alex. Oh, my God. Guys, this is... This is nothing for Alex. Remember, size is all relative, but I think that there's good lessons in showing this every now and then. And yeah, Alex had a negative week. If we tally this up, he's definitely um, definitely in the 30,000s, like negative. But that's, guys, this is the same guy. This is the same human being that will push a $700,000 trade in one day, a $50,000 trade, a $200,000 trade, a hundred and fifty. dollars How many times have you seen that? So while this may look like quite a gash, quite a knife wound, guys, it's really not, and it's all relative. And I just want to make that lesson very clear. So while this might be some a lot of people's whole account, guys, this isn't even a pebble on the sandy beach of Alex's bankroll. You see what I'm saying? So let's just read it out. Uh, Alex said, today was my fault. I usually am very disciplined to ignore the hot stock of the day until a confirmation, but due to a slower day, guys, I, I did get sloppy and I tried to slay the dragon. So you guys obviously know what we're talking about. OSHA was the dragon, guys. So here's what happens. I think this is a three-pronged effect and Alex is absolutely probably will self-admit it, but I'm just going to spitball here some ideas. The, and, and I'll just finish this off. I deserve to lose today and will be walking away to not revenge trade. Here's what I love about Alex. He's always about self accountability. I have never heard Alex complain and say, I can't believe this market maker did this. I can't believe this pump. Alex never, ever, 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 I can say that 99 times, ever blames anybody but his focus. And I do believe, and Alex would have to corroborate this, but I'm not 100%, but I'm just, as, a, as an educator myself and, and a trader myself, I'll say it like this. Guys, we had a long weekend, so traders are already off their game a little bit having three days. That'll take you off focus a little bit. Number two is it's a slow day. So you're coming off a long weekend. Now it's a really kind of slow week. Made $700 the day before. Here's the thing. I know Alex probably wanted to just, you know, see if he can milk a little bit out of this, and nobody anticipated this kind of move, guys. I mean, think about this. Literally, pre-market $4, 27 intraday or 26 That's crazy. But the beautiful thing is, and I don't have the trade on me, but the beautiful thing about what Alex did, guys, he was cutting way down here. So if he had held, obviously, he probably could have lost a million dollars, and that's where risk management comes in the fray. So not every loss is like, oh my God, you loser, I can't believe you lost. Guys, there's real lessons and there's real wins in losing sometimes. And I know this sounds like a lot, but it's not. That's a paper cut for what Alex could have lost. And it's a paper cut compared to his major wins. So I think that that's very important to note. And there's a total lesson. And I'm actually going to showcase a couple members to kind of corroborate that as well and why stopping out is so important. And I got a couple. So one here, Wei did an OSHA long awesome job just saw this strength just capitalized on it that is just so beautiful guys if you're along you want strength and you want to ride trend now here's i love this i love this medosa said the best trade even though it was a loss do you guys know why he's saying that so while he got a great scalp here pre-market and he's and he tried to hit it again pre-market and in the open he cuts it guys he's cutting this gentleman right here is literally cutting let me try to minimize this for you it right before eight if i do this and i pull back the force for the trees guys he's cutting down here do you even understand how much you could lose you're always one stock or one really 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 sloppy day away from just blowing an account and really like you could end your trading career if you're too sloppy so this is a win compared to like what could have happened same with alex guys and here's the thing i don't know mendoza's bankroll doesn't matter but let's just say he lost 1200 on that day and he was like you know what that's kind of a big loss for me or maybe that's a small loss for him it's all relative do you guys see so alex loses forty three thousand. it's all relative that might be 200 dollars for mendoza it might be 1200 i don't know his bankroll you know and i'm not inclined to ask it's not my business but you guys get the point so I'm sure there's traders who probably lost 20 million and guess what? They're probably big hedge funds traders and they're like, eh, I'll make it back. It's all relative guys. So you must have risk management. <laughs> I love what Vindy Bo said here. He covered out and then was like, why didn't I go long? Welcome my friend 
to trading. It, hindsight is 2020 and trading is a mind job because how many times have I looked at a chart like this that either I won and stopped out or just scalped it, made some money. And I was like, dude, if I just flip long, I'd be chilling on a yacht. <laughs> you know, yeah, you get a Richard Mill the same day. Welcome to trading, man. You're never going to know. It's always, you just got to play your edge and you got to stick to your plan. You're never going to know the next one that does this. And if you do, you've got some insider information and then Congratulations to you. You're doing something illegal. <laughs> um, Travers AMAM taking advantage again of a strong stock, guys, on trend, riding the sentiment. I love this piecemeal in the whole way out. Just absolutely a mic drop moment. Uh, Chooch, Chooch, wonderful job. AMC, right back, big old fail in the morning, right back to red to green line, fail, capitalize on the outer line, very patient for um, his entries, and guys, just, just really good. Just, just really, really, really good. Um, let's go into Friday and because Alex actually did not trade today guys as I think he was partying at the club last night and he warned us last night he was like guys I might be a little late <laughs> Alex the gentleman that he is uh, wants, he said yesterday I got very sloppy with my trading and I paid the price today I'll be taking it slow while he didn't trade today I don't think so um, what he did was at least provide a watch list but bow did trade so I want to kind of every now and then you know incorporate some bow trades because they're so different from Alex guys bow is a micro scalper all day so while alex is a little bit not a position player but he's a little bit more of a i'm gonna strike but i'm gonna strike big once or twice maybe even six times but bow will literally strike the same stock six times and then 20 others and there's a total way to do that and a total edge so as you can see guys bow is always literally this is bow strategy in a nutshell are you guys ready i am going to put this in layman's terms for three-year-olds five-year-olds ten-year-olds kindergarten where did the stock fail before that's where bow is going to be where did the stock fail before so let's go through it stock fails here he's going to be here stock fails here guess where he's going to be he's going to scale it but this is where he knows he should be and that's where he wants to be fails right here you're right here so again guys like i'll just draw it out really quick and i'm giving you unbelievable free game right here but if it failed there that's where you hit it again if it failed there that's where you hit it again if this was the top that's where you hit it again right here do you guys see how that works so while all these amateur just idiots with no mentorship i gotta be a little blunt guys i gotta be some fucking hard truth sometimes but all you idiots are sizing and scaling it why that's where it failed that's where the stock keeps failing that's where you need to be so again guys like i i, I hate giving this much like game away in like a free webinar but every now and then i just will just to show you guys the power of mic like I, here's what i always say if you guys are going to get something from free webinars, imagine joining MIC. Like, and you see this every day and you have live watch list, live commentary guidance, literally. So, you know, Bow was on OSHA today. Uh, uh, again, like guys, when this thing, you know, ramped up, momentum inertia totally dropped off same day. And this thing was just a low hanging fruit and Bow was using the red to green line scale and it just a beautiful job. So again, you know, LHF, low hanging fruit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job. And then Bayer, or Bayer, however you want to say that, uh, B-A-E-R, Bao was doing what he does best. And he was hitting into outer resistance lines. So, you know, again, guys, I just want to kind of like incorporate like Bao's trades every now and then and kind of show you what's possible. It's very different style from Alex. But where did the stock fail before? That's where Bao wants to be. And that's the key. And some examples are going to ring true like way more than others. But you guys definitely get the idea, the ideology, and the discipline it takes to wait for that same level of where it failed before. So you guys are like, oh, you know, I mean, sometimes like I just want to get in the stock because it's efficient to click buttons and it's very easy to click while it's easy to click buttons doesn't mean it's right or wrong guys let me make that very clear just because something is normal does not mean it's right it means it's normal a bunch of people have no discipline and want to click buttons that's why 90 percent of traders lose the traders that wait for the outer lines wait for that specific line once the stock topped out you hit the same line before because it works until it doesn't welcome to channel trading welcome to outer line trading that is the different ma the difference maker. Um, David on Timber, love it. Where did the stock fail before? Oh, right there. Well, guess where I'm going to freaking be? Right there. This ain't rocket science, guys. I'm trying to break this down for you. Um, Arcelon, I love it. This guy's killing. He's totally on radar right now. This kid's a monster right now. Nice $3,000 day. That's pretty standard for him these days. I love seeing it. I love seeing it, guys. I love it. Uh, let's see. Jasper, I love this. Outer lines, where the stock fell before. You know that that's the peak. 
That's the peak. So where are you going to be? Right at outer lines. It's always where the peaks, guys. Rockmon, where did the stock fail before? That's the peak. So again, guys, you can get a little, you can scale it, but that's where you want to focus. You don't want to be focusing down here. You don't want to be shorting down here. You're, that's just asking for trouble. Can you make money? Yes. But again, we want sniper entries. That's how we do it at MIC. We need to make sure that we are snipers because the better entry you have, the more comfortable you're going to be in the trade. You're going to be able to relax. You're going to be able to play some music. Maybe go take a dump. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying do those things, but I'm just saying, guys, it takes the load off and the stress load by an insurmountable amount. Um, all right. So, guys, check this out. So, really quick, this is our community in a nutshell. This is the Slack community. So we have a website and it's actually myinvestingclub.com. That's what you see right here. But this is our this is our chat room. So we have a couple things that I want to, you know, to pay attention to really quick. We have a watch list channel, guys. So every single day, as you guys can see, you know, Tuesday, February 21st, uh, da, 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 Wednesday, February 22nd. So like Alex is curating a watch list every single day. Tom's backing them up with the low hanging fruit. Joe's getting in there with some big caps every now and then. Very important, guys. Very important. Then we take all that information, all that edge and all that curated precision, precise mentorship into the main trading chat and <laughs> with, <laughs> with jokes every now and then that's hysterical. <laughs> We're all really happy to be working at McDonald's apparently. <laughs> I think uh, who's who's happiest? I'm definitely the most shocked. Uh, it looks like James probably the most happiest. But guys, this is a we just joke around, man. This is this is a networking community. It's so much fun, man. So you know, here's the thing, guys. Get inside here. We do jokes all the time, memes, stuff, whatever. Uh, especially when it's after hours kind of stuff. But during the day, as you guys can see, real time live charts. Bow on sing. Bow on timber. Posting. Stefan making seven hundred dollars. Great job. Like guys, this is just this is what you see. This is this is mentorship. This is live mentorship. This is not after the fact. This is like immediately. So you guys are getting commentary, you're getting warnings, you're getting fills. Like this is what it's about. Seinfeld references. That's the best. Um, large cap and options guys. If you're not a small cap trader, which was the main trading chat, large cap and options room for you. So talk about NVIDIA, talk about spy, talk about big caps, talk about options trading chart recaps and fills a bunch of stuff right here. Post your charts. Um, you know, if I go right here, I will find our after hours channel, which as you guys hit bows at dinner with the, the real CEO of MIC. <laughs> um, and just, this is networking guys in a nutshell, past events, Funny stuff. The bow post. He's like the funniest guy anyone's ever met. Happy birthday, Tay, Mama Tay, one of our mods. And uh, it's just a fun time, guys. It's just a, it's a really fun time. So cheers. Enjoy your weekends. You all deserve it. Um, spend time with your families. Don't stress too much about trading. Join MIC. We'll take off a lot of the stress load. And uh, again, guys, like it does take a lot to learn this language, and and we're gonna help you do it. So if you go to myinvestingclub.com, there's a couple things I want to point out really quick. And the first thing is the one hour free training right here. As you guys can see, you want to click this guys. This is the first thing you want to do immediately. Don't look at anything else until you do this, get on our list and you are going to get a free one hour course guys. It's going to change the game. It's going to change your perspective. Alex is literally going to show you what is possible. Um, if you guys want to scroll down, you can view Alex's broker statements, guys. He is crushing by the way, in the last three and a half years, he's up like 8.5. 4 million, I think to be exact. This was the last three years, guys, not counting this year. And obviously he's up over 900,000. So Alex is crushing it. He's doing a small account challenge. He's up $900,000 already. We're not even done with February for this year. Uh, he had the 1 million mark. He's there. It's a psychological price target. So, you know, it, it, it would, it's interesting to see just a little bit of resistance when he was so close to that mark. Welcome to trading guys. It's all a psychological game. It is all psychology. So there, that might even be part of his loss on, on Thursday, just thinking I'm so close to a million, you know, on the year. And that was the goal for the small account challenge Which he's right there. He's dental floss away guys. It's like walking on dental floss. Um, let's see guys. If we, go to the video library right here you got to be signed in as a member to really see um what you're going to see is all our videos and all our content and then you're going to scroll down and see our linear roadmap of content so like start with the accelerator course getting started in the curriculum phase study guide you, you guys can open those up and see all the videos but check this out alex's live trades this is so important guys this is so important so this is exclusively for lifetime members, but if you want to upgrade, just DM me or text my line, which you can see right here, book a call. We can talk about that, but 
This is live trades recorded on Alex's computer exactly at the time they're happening. He records his screen. It's a live trade. As you guys can see these past examples, you can see his live trading. And then he'll, um, after the fact, record audio commentary of what he was thinking in the trade. Obviously not doing that while he's recording. It's totally going to mess up his headspace. He's like literally trying to teach for the recording and then trade, you know, and have a really good day. So while Alex is making $67,000 in this example, guys, he's not talking to the screens yet. He's recording his screen, makes the money, talks after the fact, and we edit it together and it's beautiful um, discovery of price action and lessons for you guys. So definitely look at that. And then the last thing is my personal business line, guys. So book a free call. The number one thing you need to do is you need to go right here. If you're brand new, what did I tell you? What did I tell you guys? This is the first thing you need to do. You need to go right here. Book a one hour training. Then you're going to book a free call with me. This is going to iron out all of your questions, guys. I promise you, I will get on the phone one-on-one -on -one and make sure that you are not wavering in your confidence of joining MIC. I want you confident joining MIC. And if you decide it's not for you, it's not for you. But I want to get on the phone with you. I want to address all your questions. And I don't want you going in kind of like shaky hand. I'll give you the full confidence to know what you're going to get expect and how you can execute with our community. And if MIC truly is a good fit for you, which... I think it's a good fit for any trader out there. So I can't imagine it wouldn't be a good fit for you, no matter what your schedule is, your play style, whatever. All right, guys, it is tradition. As much as I don't want to do it this week because Alex had a losing week, I hate that, but uh, but he's still doing great, so we don't pity him. So, okay, so this is negative first because I'll just subtract from, you know, the wins. Uh, so negative $700 and then minus $7,000, guys, just to be exact. Alex lost around $36,000 this week. Absolute paper cut. This is nothing. It's a pebble. It's not even a speed bump. Alex is going to be crushing, knock on wood. And uh, guys, that was, the, that was the ESPN highlight reel. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. And I will see you next week. And let's, let's, uh, let's encourage Alex to have a green week next week and a monster green week at that. So let's go. We got to recover from this week. All right, guys, catch you next week.